Hi, good evening everyone. So I hope all of you have seen the notice that came related to the CUET PG entrance exam. But as of now, whatever date has come for us, it is definitely sure that the paper is going to be in March. So unless any further notice comes from the side of NDA, we must, must prepare ourselves according to March. So, how many months have you been if it is in March? Assume September is gone. October, November, December, January and February. Five months are left for you to prepare entire CUET. Your aim for good universities, Delhi School of Economics, JNU and other good universities is going to be based on the preparation you do in these five months. Ye panch mahine bohot 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 critical hai and you have to give your 100%. Okay? So now beta, no more of wasting time, no more of going ahead and you know still thinking when you will start your studies. No. You have to start the preparation right now. Very soon beta, I am going to go ahead and come up with a date sheet for COD mock test paper series so I will announce this soon and we will start the date sheet preparation start karte hai, right beta so I will give you the dates when when Artha Point will be keeping these mock papers and students who are even not enrolled in our CUT course or M economics course they can go ahead and they can talk to Rohit sir. You can call on our Artha Point number and get yourself enrolled for CUD mock test series. Take it up. Let us start now today's session. So today's questions are going to be based exactly on the pattern of CUD. And the first question that I have for you is this. It's based on assertion and reasoning. So the first question is statement one. Indifference curves may not touch each other. Statement 2. Indifference curves slope upward from left to right. So, this question is often aate hai. assertion reasoning. Those statements hongi, which statement is correct. Ye bhi bahut aata hai. Match the following. That's also asked a lot in exam. So, let us try to go ahead and see this beta. So, indifference curves may not touch either, each other. Do indifference curves touch each other? No. They cannot intersect each other. If they intersect each other, it is violation of so many things. Monotonicity violate ho jati hai. Bohut sari cheeze violate ho jati hai. Well defined nahi rete ICs. So this is correct. Actually, may ki jagah should not hona chahiye. It cannot intersect each other. Ya can not hona chahiye. But still, I will consider this as a true statement. Ki indifference curve should not intersect each other. Achha, look at the second statement now. The second statement tells us indifference curve slopes upwards from left to right. But left to right bana ke dekhte hai kari indifference curve. This is left right. So left to right do this though upwards. They can but not well defined. Jab tak they don't mention anything. They didn't say na ki bad bad goods hai, good bad goods hai, good good goods hai. So unless nothing is mentioned you will always assume that they are talking about well-defined preferences. They are always talking about well-defined preferences. So, beta, if they are talking about well-defined preferences, so kya well-defined preference mein can be upward sloping? Na, it should be downward sloping. Clear hai? So, second statement is Incorrect. So what should be the right answer to this question? We are pretty clear that only statement 1 is correct. So I am going to go ahead with the first option which is A. So only statement 1 is correct. Everyone is clear with this? Take a better. Next question. Let us see. You should be preparing with me simultaneously. Okay, better. Let us look at the second question. Try to answer this question yourself first. Dekho zara dhyan se. Statement 1 ke re, marginal utility curve slopes upwards. And statement 2 is saying marginal utility goes on diminishing. 
मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी कर्व कैसे बनता है लाइक like दिस What is what is law of diminishing marginal utility? That with every unit you consume, जैसे जैसे आप consume करते जाते हो, the additional utility you get keeps on diminishing. तो बेटा अगर first unit ने मुझे marginal utility five की दी है, तो second unit मेरे को marginal utility four की देगा and so on and so forth. So with every unit I consume, my marginal utility will decrease. So can it be upward sloping now? Can it? Is it diminishing? Yes, that is what the law of diminishing marginal utility is, DMU. Right, beta? So statement 1 is incorrect, but statement 2, that is correct. So what should be the answer to this question? B. Statement 2 is correct and 1 is incorrect. Okay. Let us go on to the next question. But sometimes you may see, feel that these are easy. But I care you. These are the questions you will make mistake in, in your exam. So, these are easy questions to practice. Okay. So, let us try to read. This is the question now. Okay, wait. Read this question. Huh? It says statement 1 kya bhoor all standard unit of commodity are consumed in consumed is one of the assumptions of the law of diminishing marginal utility. So what is it saying? That you only consume standard unit of commodity. I will explain a little bit. But first you will answer this to me. Second, consumption is continuous is another assumption of diminishing marginal utility. So beta, you have to go ahead. And you have to tell me ki in do me se kaun kaun se statement correct hai. Try to think yourself first. Then I will answer this. Okay. See. By standard unit, I mean that unit should be adequately defined. Aisa na ho unit bohat bada ya bohat chota ho. It should be adequate. Just say for example. If I am defining how much utility I get from one Thali of lunch. Right, beta? Then have you seen those YouTube videos which talk about that very big thali? Right? That is not my standard unit. And have you seen those videos which just go ahead and give you in those mini utensils? I have seen these new things coming up. That is also not the standard unit. Standard unit matlab ki? The unit which is obvious. It should not be very small. It should not be very large. Agar ek bohat badi thali de doge, so maybe the first thali itself will give me diminishing marginal utility. Additional thali ki I don't have any requirement. So in order for law of diminishing marginal utility to be satisfied, that standard unit should be right. It should not be too small, it should not be too large. It should be just right. Ye pehli assumption hai. Achha, look at the second assumption. Imagine, I am telling you I am very thirsty. You give me one glass of water. Then you give me the second glass, third glass. Of course, with every unit of glass, my utility will diminish. So, now imagine, you gave me this first glass today. But then, you gave me the second glass tomorrow. So, beta, wo second glass se, mujhe shayad aad se zyada utility mil pahe. Maybe, I will get more utility from the second glass than the first glass. Why? Because maybe I will be more thirsty tomorrow. I don't know. So, if you don't have my consumption defined in continuity. Agar meri consumption continuous nahi hai. It is discontinuous. Ek aaj unit consume kar rahi hon. Ek sometime later, ek sometime later. Then the law of diminishing marginal utility may not hold. Right? So, I will go ahead and I will say that both of these statements are correct. Both of them are absolutely true. So the correct answer to this question should be that both are correct. Let's read this out. So this says that the assumption of the law of diminishing marginal utility is that consumer only consumes standard units such that the size of commodity is neither too big nor too small. Have you seen those dosas? Standard unit. Huh? Second, 
whereas consumption of consumption of successive units of commodity takes place continuously should should not be the case ki ek aaj consume kiya aur ek kal consume kiya they should be continuous okay beta have a look at the next question try to answer this then i will answer it for you okay so question is this it says the indifference curve is concave to the origin due to diminishing mrs and a consumer is in equilibrium when he spends his income on different goods and receives maximum satisfaction try to do this question then i will answer it okay what do you think should be the answer so beta are indifference curve concave to the origin no they are convex to the origin they are convex to the origin had it been increasing mrs hai na then it would have been concave but it is decreasing mrs so they are convex dono cheeze ek sath nahi ho sakti concave increasing convex diminishing a consumer is in equilibrium when he spends his income on different goods receiving maximum satisfaction ha that is how we do lagrange kya karte hain hum maximize utility subject to budget constraint so we try to maximize that utility subject to budget constraint to correct ho gaya na so statement 2 is correct but 1 is incorrect i hope this is clear to everyone very simple okay beta come to the next question okay so this is based on uh, assertion and reasoning read a as assertion and r as reasoning a padho sir if consumer consumes a good with time lag then law of diminishing this is d ha huh? diminishing marginal utility doesn't hold true this is the assertion ye ek statement hai jo bolti hai ki agar consumer ek sath consume na kare टाइम लैग के साथ कंज्यूम करे यानी आज ये कंज्यूम करे फिर ब्रेक दे फिर कंज्यूम करे तो डिमिनिशिंग मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी होल्ड नहीं करेगा आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू दिस दिस इज सेम एज कंटिन्यूटी मतलब अगर डिसकंटिन्यूअसली कंज्यूम कर रहे हो डेफिनेटली डीएमयू इज नॉट ट्रू दिस इज करेक्ट एक्चुअली दिस इज ट्रू है ना अच्छा रीड द नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट ह्यूमन वॉन्ट्स आर अनलिमिटेड एज सुन एज वन वॉन्ट गेट्स ओवर अनदर वॉन्ट आर राइज डेफिनेटली ये तो ट्रू है जैसे ही सपोज इमेजिन बट नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू आर एमिंग टू गो इन टू गुड मास्टर्स कॉलेज डी एस सी आई एस आई जे एन यू द मोमेंट यू गेट देयर यू विल स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट अदर थिंग आई वॉन्ट अ गुड जॉब द मोमेंट यू गेट दैट यू विल स्टार्ट थिंकिंग आई नीड अ गुड हाउस सो द वॉन्ट्स विल ऑलवेज बी अनलिमिटेड इज इन दैट ट्रू सो दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू स्टेटमेंट बट इज दिस एनी वे इज रिलेटेड टू दिस ना बोथ ऑफ दम आर ट्रू But one is not the reason for the other, right? Yeah, the other thing is bold. Yeah, the other thing is bold. So very simple. From here itself, I can read and I can understand that both assertion and reason are true. But R is not the correct explanation of A. That is incorrect. So answer B should be correct. A and R are true, but R is not the correct reason for A. Okay. So we have done five questions from consumer theory today. I will get you more questions on assertion and reasoning. ये बहुत important है Many students don't understand assertion and reasoning well. But in the past, when I was preparing my students last year for CUET exam, there also I did some questions on assertion and reasoning. I did some questions on हंड्रेड uh, questions on who gave which theory. But it is the right time. to look into my previous videos and start revising those bahut time nahi hai hai na to everyone will look into those assertion reason videos will look into who derived what will look into my previous videos of 100 days 100 questions and start revising those simultaneously aisa na ho ki ye wala to kar rahe ho aur pichle questions revise hi nahi kiye that should not be the case and very soon maybe next week or so let me come up with the date sheet we will start very soon with our cvt mock paper test series also okay beta thank you